Miss Marvel has been a giant failure for Disney. The show opened to the lowest premiere viewership numbers of any Disney Plus series. Scores haven't been great, but it also hasn't trended once since its launch. And now Sana Aminat, the character's co-creator, of course, doesn't like the fact that the show isn't doing well because she's attacking critics, saying they only dislike it because people feel their identities are being threatened. I have a bunch of different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube. YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So, I wanted to start off with this Bounding Into Comics article. It says, Miss Marvel co-creator Sana Aminat claims critics of Disney Plus series feel their identities are being threatened. Not that they dislike it because the story is bad, the character is bad, the visuals are bad. No, no. It's just because people feel their identities are being threatened to her. According to Sana Aminat, the Marvel producer, perhaps best known as one of the character's co-creators, criticism of the character's live-action Disney Plus debut stems not from a rejection of the series' quality, but rather a widespread feeling among said critics that their identities are being threatened. It says, though, mainstream media outlets have been more than happy to point to the series' near-perfect Rotten Tomatoes score as evidence that the series is the pinnacle of Marvel productions. Their claims are disingenuous at best, given the fact that the vast majority of the 249 reviews currently posted for the series, though the site curiously only allows users to see five total of these positive reviews, only provided feedback on Miss Marvel's first two episodes. And if you go to other sites like IMDb, currently Miss Marvel is sitting at a 6 out of 10, which is definitely not good. It says, even by the media's own standards, a number of noted outlets have asserted that the series' novelty has waned in later episodes, giving way to a disjointed and awkward drama more focused on quickly ticking off representation of Kamala's superficial qualities than providing a coherent superhero story. It gives me no pleasure to find this episode a mess, but with the resolution of stories leaving us wildly unsure of Kamala's altered MCU powers, set. Um, you know, the character didn't fully develop, the villains didn't fully develop throughout the show, episode 5 just wasn't as thrilling for me as it attempted to be. It's just showing off uh, quite a few of the more negative reviews. Jonathan Sim from ComingSoon.net said the many ideas in the show never quite gel together the way they should. Now, I did watch the first few episodes of Miss Marvel, even though I do not pay for Disney Plus, because I try to consume the content that I'm talking about on this channel, right? I want to give things a fair shot, and if I'm talking about Miss Marvel, I actually want to attempt to watch it. But this show, from the first five minutes, you could tell was going to be the worst Marvel show that they've created so far, and just a terrible show in general. It had very mediocre visuals. Uh, the acting was pretty bad. The story was a giant mess. I mean, there was nothing with this show that I liked. I couldn't recommend this show to anyone. It's not like I could say, oh, this aspect of it was good because nothing in it was good. This is a absolute disaster of a series. I don't know why they would put this together and why they thought that people would want to watch this. We know that this is supposed to be a show for younger adults, right? But younger adults are not showing up to watch this. It's the MCU fans that are showing up to watch this. Yet, at the same time, they also still did kind of try to market it towards adults, so the marketing also felt off for this series. Overall, I just think that they didn't have a clear direction where they wanted to go with the show and who they wanted to watch this show, and it became just a mess very quickly. It says the episode illustrates how the whole series needed more breathing time because it has not capitalized on a solid start. 
But scrolling down, it says, yet when faced with similar criticisms of the series writing as cringe or woke, the latter of which admittedly coming less from the mainstream press and more from an ever-growing amount of independent reviewers, Aminat has written them off as nothing more than the ranting of angry fanboys. I think it comes from a place of anger and a sense that their identities are being threatened, the Marvel producer told NBC Asian America. If they can't connect with it, then that's okay. I just wish they wouldn't try to put it down. So, of course, she's saying that people only dislike it because, you know, they feel their identities are being threatened, which, of course, is absurd. Um, I might not enjoy every single series that I watch, but I try to find positivity out of it. But the problem with Miss Marvel, like I mentioned, is the fact that there was nothing good about it. There was no solid elements to it. I'm not sitting here saying it's bad because I feel like my identity is being threatened. I'm sitting here saying it's bad because it's simply a bad product. We see this happen very often, though, where writers, producers, directors, even actors try to write off criticisms like this as hatred and, oh, it's just toxic, angry fanboys, which, of course, is a disgusting thing to do. I think that they really need to understand that there are a lot of people out there who are criticizing your content because it's just not good, not because they're angry fanboys. That's only going to make people dislike you more. It's just going to lose respect with the audiences. You need to watch your content. She then turned to the topic of the series' aforementioned representation and claimed that the show had found a particular audience among similarly Muslim teenagers, noting, it's amazing to see how they're internalizing that imagery. And that's great if this group of individuals is enjoying this content. That's awesome. I'm not saying that it's bad that they're enjoying it, right? If they are liking it, that's great. But at the same time, you need more than just this group of people to enjoy the show. If you want another season, if you ever want to see this character in live action form again, and it just doesn't seem like people are showing up to watch it and they're not enjoying it. And then when you've got the character's co-creator attacking people, that's just going to get you even less viewers if another season of this comes out or if they do another series with her. And this is also another article I wanted to reference. Miss Marvel ratings so low, embarrassing and shocking for Marvel. I'm not surprised to hear this at all whatsoever, but I bet Disney's freaking out a little bit. It we already knew that Miss Marvel is the least watched Marvel show on Disney Plus, but now we've learned just how bad the ratings are, which are described as embarrassing and shocking. Uh, YouTuber Grace Randolph covers the ratings and streaming viewing numbers for the week of June 6th to 12th, where the first episode of Miss Marvel comes in at number 10, which is considered really bad, as the previous Marvel shows debuted usually in the top five. The premiere episode of the show was only viewed 249 million minutes, which is over 40% less than the previous Marvel debut of Moon Knight, which came in at number five with 418 minutes for the week of March 28th to April 3rd. So what that means is that a lot of Marvel fans that are already subscribed to Disney Plus are not watching the Miss Marvel series. And again, I think that it's just because there were so many people talking about the fact that it doesn't really feel the same as the other Marvel shows. It feels lower budget. It feels way more confusing. I guess the story is uh, kind of the best way to describe it. It's just not very coherent. It doesn't feel like everything meshed well together. Overall, it was just a very terrible series. And it's no surprise to see Sana Aminat coming forward, attacking the critics of this show, writing off their criticism as hatred. Um, but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed and found this video important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.